Hello and welcome to Rob's Workshop and today we're going to be looking at ductwork and how it all fits together. So, let's go! Ductwork, you've all seen it, some of you have probably worked with it as well. It comes in a variety of different types. Here we can see a couple of different sorts. We've got PVC rigid ductwork, PVC flexible ductwork. There is also metal spiral wound ductwork that you tend to see more industrially as well. But all the rules I'm going to tell you today will apply to all of these. This piece of ductwork here, for example, this is 125 millimeter solid rigid PVC ductwork. If you were to actually measure that, it wouldn't actually be 125 millimeters. It would probably be about 127, 128 millimeters. That is classed as female. So ductwork, as we have here, is all classed as female. If you were to look at the fittings we've got over here, we've got a T-junction, a 45 degree bend, a 90 degree bend, a couple of grills. You've got an internal grill here, an air valve. You've got an external grill, a wind baffle type grill, a fan spigot, that's classed as a fitting as well. Couplers to join two pieces of ductwork together straight. Reducers, they're all classed as fittings. And the fittings, if you were to measure these, these are 125 millimeters again, you'd actually probably find they're about 122. And because of that, if we take, for example, a 90 degree bend, this is a 125 90 degree bend, 125 rigid PVC pipe, and we put that inside there, that will fit inside to make a seal. You can then use a mastic seal in there to seal that up, tape it up and you're ready to continue with your duct run. So, the duct work is female, the fittings are male. The exception to the rule, because there's always an exception to every rule, as we know, is this. This is a plastic reducing piece. The way these work is, you have a large end and a small end. On this particular one, this is 125 millimeters on the larger end, and it is reducing the duct size down to 100 millimeters on the small end. The small end follows the rules we've just talked about. So the small end, 100 mil is male, and that will fit, we have a piece of 100 mil pipe here, that will fit straight into the duct work like so, and you can then continue that duct run on, no problems at all. The confusion comes when people try and fit the large end, which is 125, to a piece of 125 duct work. And the confusion is that the large end of a reducer is in fact female also. If you look at this logically, the way out of this is female and female to take a male fitting and fit the two together. So you would take a male coupler, the joining piece, that will fit inside the female end of the reducer and then you could locate that into the pipework like so. So the exception to bear in mind is plastic reducers, small end is male, the large end however is female. One other type of ductwork which you may want to use is this stuff which is rectangular. Now rectangular ductwork has a lower profile than its diameter equivalent. This is 110 by 55, 110 mil across here, 55 mil depth. This is the direct equivalent for airflow of the 100 diameter. So as you can see, that's gonna be a lot lower profile. Ceiling voids, anywhere you're restricted for space, this is the stuff for you. It comes in three sizes. There's 204 across the width by 60 mil deep, and that is designed for 125 mil diameter. And there's 220 mil across the width and 90 deep, which is the direct equivalent of 150 mil diameter. The way this stuff differs from circular ductwork is that, believe it or not, the ductwork itself is male. And the fittings, as you can see here, we have a joining coupler, is female. So that the fitting itself will fit over the ductwork. The ductwork fits inside the fitting. So that's completely different to circular. Circular, ductwork is female, fittings are male. Rectangular, the ductwork is male and the fittings are female. So do try and remember that because it may get you out of a tight spot. So I hope that's answered a few of your questions and I hope you'll join me again for some more of Rob's workshop. Thank you very much for watching.